Hey guys, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I wanted to do a quick screen comparison review with the new Pocketbook Era on the right. So this was just released this month. It's got uh, uh, asymmetrical design, seven inch ink screen. Uh, it's got the new Carta 1200 screen. But what I noticed is the screen doesn't look nearly, uh, uh, the contrast isn't nearly as good as it is on like the Kobo uh, Libra 2 and the Kindle Paperwhite uh, five here. Uh, they all have this. They're supposed to have the same Carta 1200 screen, um, but I just noticed that the uh, pocketbook screen, the text looks a lot more washed out. Uh, it doesn't look nearly as dark, so um, that's definitely disappointing because everything else about the device is pretty nice. Uh, as you notice in here, we have uh, the font selection menu. Uh, you have the option to use regular italic and bold. So one thing with the pocketbook, they don't allow any fine tuning of the boldness setting like you can with the uh, Kindles and Kobos, where you can kind of fine-tune the thickness of the text to, how, to however you like it. Um, the bold, it's really, really bold. Um, I think it's just too bold for me personally, but I don't know, we all have different preferences here. I like how the Kindle, you can customize it, just get a little bit of darker uh, edges to the text here. Um, so when we're comparing the super bold font on the um, pocketbook, I mean, it does look a little bit better, but um, when you kind of look at it up close, it kind of has like a fuzzy appearance to it. But, um, you know, I mean, it's still... You know, it gets the text darker, uh, gives you a little bit better contrast. But um, for whatever reason, especially when you're using the regular setting here, it just looks a lot more washed out than it does on the Kindle. I'll show it here on the Kobo Libra 2 here in a second. Um, I'm kind of mess with the font size here a little bit, give you a better look. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's just with this flush front layer and they have this anti-glare layer. Uh, on top of the screen. I think it just allows less light to go through to the actual ink screen. So um, it just makes it look a little bit less clear, a little bit less dark. I'm trying to get a, the camera to focus here. The uh, autofocus doesn't work great, and so I'm sorry about that, but I'm um, trying to get you a good close-up look at the text here. Here's the Koba Libra 2. has the same. It's supposed to have the same exact screen, 7-inch, 1200 Carter screen. So um, the text just stands out way more on the Kobo. Uh, way darker. Now the Kobo has a lot more settings where you can kind of customize the weight of the um, text, you know, where you can't really do that at all on the pocketbook. But I mean, the text just jumps out a lot more on the um, Kobo Libra 2 here. So even when you're using the boldness setting, so it does have definitely increase the darkness here a lot when you're using the boldness setting on the pocketbook. Like I said, though, it kind of gives it a fuzzier appearance. Um, it's not quite as clear, but it, I mean, it just sort of your personal preference if you like that or not. I wish we had more uh, bold settings on the pocketbook where you could kind of fine tune it like you can on the Kindles and the Kobos. But um, I just kind of wanted to show the screen here. It's not quite um, as good as it is on the Kobo and the Kindle. The Kobo with this white border, it does kind of give the screen more of a darker appearance. Uh, the background, uh, it's just kind of a effect of the white border. Um, it's kind of an optical illusion, but um, either way, the text definitely noticeably darker on these other devices than the pocketbook. So that was with the lights on over the top of the device. Uh, this is with natural lighting, um, no overhead lights, just with light coming through a window here. So it seems to stand out a little bit more with natural lighting. Uh, the camera isn't focusing on the right side as well as it should, so that's definitely one thing to note. But um, even when you're doing... Uh, the close-ups, you can tell that the, even with the Kindle here with no boldness at all, sort of more of a level playing field with no boldness on the pocketbook, text definitely stands out more, definitely darker. Uh, so that's definitely the dis most disappointing part about the pocketbook air screen. I was just hoping for better contrast. Um, it doesn't really look like an upgrade at all, even though the Carter 1200 screen is supposed to be an upgrade. Um, but, you know, they do have this anti-glare coating on the top of this, and it does show... Um, reflection just a little bit less here uh, as you can see here when I tilt it um, it's just a little bit clearer the reflection on the Kobo um, so they do have a little bit more anti-glare on the pocketbook screen so that's probably what's leading to uh, not as much light being able to pass through but I just kind of wanted to show this thank you guys for watching check out the main review of the pocketbook air I'll be posting that soon uh, have a good day bye